At this time, Major General Peter B. Andresia is being presented a brass shell casing from 2377 Field Artillery. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of U.S. Army Alaska, Major General Brian S. Eifler. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a great team on the field today. I really appreciate everybody's efforts that go into these ceremonies. It's not really uh, something that we all join the Army to do, but it's necessary. And I know what we really do is out there in the tundra and out in the field executing the Arctic strategy. So I appreciate your time out here today. I really wanted to say thanks to Pete and Casey for the great work that they have done leading the Arctic strategy and bringing it to fruition uh, uh, with this great team. So I really wanted to just say thanks, Pete. You've done a great job. And I know you leave with heavy hearts, but uh, I got your back. I'm gonna carry on the mission, right? I gotta thank the Secretary of the Army and the Chief of Staff of the Army General Convo for the trust and confidence they have in me, as well as the Corps Commander, Major General Brunson, who's a great friend, great counselor, even a mentor. Now he's my boss. Can't think of working for a better person. And so uh, blessings to you and your family as well. Thanks for being here and bringing some Washington weather here. I also, I, I gotta say to my family over there, God bless me with a great family. Uh, and uh, I'm glad that they're here. And uh, I don't wanna repeat everything that Pete just said about Casey, but uh, she is a true military spouse and uh, has helped me more than I can ever uh, thank her for. So thank all you guys for being here today. And I got family watching back home in Michigan and Ohio and all sorts of the states. So hi, Mom and everybody back uh, in the lower 48. So we've been chosen to lead the Army's Arctic strategy into the future. And we are well on our way, thanks to Pete and your team that you built here. Uh, it's a big responsibility, and we must earn that title Arctic warrior, Arctic tough every day. Tough challenges lie ahead, challenges that, found, that are found nowhere else. But we are not alone. As Pete just mentioned, we are a team of teams. We have soldiers, our families, our Department of the Army civilians, each a valued member of this team. We are part of a joint force, part of Alaska Command. General Crumb's here today. We got the Air Force, the Marines, the Navy, the Coast Guard. We also have our National Guard, our Alaska National Guard, our reserves, our allies and partners, especially our Canadian neighbors. Louis MG, thanks for being here today. And thanks on behalf of the United States for being with us for the last two decades of war. So please give us a round of applause for our allies. Need your expertise and we appreciate you. Of course, our native Alaskans, our congressional delegation, both state, local, and federal, the local communities here, Fairbanks, and really all over. It's a team of teams, and that's what we'll be. It's the only way to do this. I'd have to say a little bit of history before I leave that during World War II, those who fought in Alaska endured extreme conditions, hardships most cannot fathom. Through grit alone, they persevered the relentless weather and overcame a determined enemy. We must channel that grit today and into the future. We're going to need it. Our country and our army is asking much from us, and we can only do it together as a cohesive team that takes care of one another, that is trained, is fit, and ready to fight. I'm honored to be a part of it. Arctic Tough. At this time, 
Major General Brian Eichler is being presented a brass shell casing from 2377 Field Artillery. 